The message was loud and clear. First Nations gathered on Parliament Hill on Wednesday to say Bill C-53 has to go because it recognizes the Métis Nation of Ontario, who the Chiefs of Ontario say represents illegitimate Métis communities with no historical basis and do not meet the legal threshold to be recognized as having rights. It, it recognizes uh, a Métis presence in our territories that historically have never been there. Uh, and, um, and really, uh, when, when you dig deep, um, the due diligence... Uh, for determining who is a Métis person has not been done. Tamagami First Nation Chief Shelley Moore Frappier agrees the Liberals did not do their homework before drafting the legislation. Absolutely, the government has made a major error. There was, has been no consultation with First Nations. As a Temiagam Anishinaabe uh, in, in a document on our homeland, we know that we are the only soul-bearing uh, Indigenous right holders in our homeland. NDP MP Blake Desjardins, who himself is Métis, also says the process that led to Bill C-53 is flawed. Before we get to the legislation, there is actually the process discussion, how the government has absorbed or listened to claims of Indigenous groups. That process is flawed, and it's really a brutal one. It's one that says we'll recognize this group over this group, and we'll pick winners and losers. Métis Nation of Ontario President Margaret Froe says the legislation only affirms rights Métis people already have and really doesn't change much. Bill C-53 is really clear. It does not have any impact on anyone other than our Métis governments and our citizens. So we are continuing to reach out uh, to provide accurate information about our self-government agreements and the legislation. But not so, says McLeod. So to say that it's only dealing with governance is, is also misleading. Uh, if you go to their website, they talk about land, they talk about resources. They're already uh, um, uh, lobbying uh, industry for uh, impact benefits agree agreements in our territories. More Frappier says if the Liberals push ahead with the legislation, it will be problematic. I think that they're going to be setting reconciliation back 100 years. We're looking at um, they need to consult First Nations and uh, the, the, um, though we have the, um, the established rights. Really what we're, we're looking at is established rights uh, being subordinate to these assertions. Bill C-53 goes to committee this fall. Fraser Needham, APTN National News, Ottawa.